My name is Brad Sell. I'm the park director at Old Santee Canal Park here in Monk's Corner. We are a beautiful little park located on the Cooper River, and I'm excited to show you guys what all we have to offer. We are the site of the first canal ever built in America. The Santee Canal connected the Santee River to the Cooper River, and what we preserve here is the southern mile of the canal when it empties into the Cooper River. People love coming out to the park because there's a perfect blend of history and nature here. We have a beautiful 1800s plantation house. We offer the site of the Little David as well as four miles of boardwalk and nature trails. We do a big focus here on migratory birds and different species of animals that we're going to be seeing all through the years. So people really like that mix of history and nature that they can get here at Old Santee Canal Park. We offer several different kinds of trails here at the park. There's lots of boardwalks. You can observe the swamp from a safe distance. There are also some hiking trails, some that are really awesome for the family and good for kids. But we also offer some rugged and more rustic trails for people who really like adventure. And as always, dogs are allowed at Old Santee Canal Park. We love to have them on our nature trails, just on leashes and just not inside the Interpretive Center. The park is a great place to bird watch because we have several different uh, habitats and varieties which allow many different types of birds here. One of the most beautiful ones is the Prothonotary Warbler, which is a beautiful bright yellow bird that spends its summer here. We also have ospreys, uh, bald eagles will fly overhead, egrets, herons, some waterfowl as well, wood ducks. Alligators, snakes, uh, turtles. We have some salamanders here. Walk around quietly, you will be able to observe all, all, all different varieties of wildlife. The park is also located on the Cooper River and we have a, a floating dock that you can walk out on and we allow fishing off of that floating dock in the Cooper River as well. We have about a mile long uh, water trail which you can take a canoe or kayak out on and it's a simple out and back so you go out however far you want to and then you can just turn around and, and head back to the dock. We have several canoes available to rent. Super easy, you go into the Interpretive Center and ask about rentals and we'll get you set up. They are charged by the half hour and it's a wonderful way to see our beautiful swamp on the water. For field trips, we offer 10 programs, five nature and five history so that we can touch on everything that students need. We can also cater to groups of really different sizes. So we're happy to have a group of 20 kids come out and do an awesome swamp class with them. And we're also able to cater to very, very large groups up to 150 where we can break that down into different rotations and they can come over several days. We also just recently started offering homeschool days where we'd like to sign up homeschool families and have them come out so that they can also take advantages of our educational programs here at the park. For the history programs, we offer an indigo history and indigo dyeing program. We offer Native American culture, a Carolina rice production, a canal history, all about the history of the canal here at the park, as well as candle making. The nature-based programs include a swamp ecosystems class, a reptiles class. We also offer a program on bird life history, a incredible insect class where we learn all about insects, as well as a plants and trees, where we actually talk about the life cycle of trees and actually take a tour of the park and go over what we have here. Usually we take about 75 to 100 students per day. They get two classes, which are two hour programs, and they can be anything, whether they want two environmental programs, two history programs, or an environmental and history program. But they have a chance to explore the Berkeley Museum and our interpretive center as well. Our classes are geared for science and history. If you're not a science or history teacher, we're willing to adjust and make classes if you would like to bring your students out. So we are very flexible in that aspect. Uh, teachers that visit the park love to tell us that they love being out in the natural environment. Um, they love that we follow state standards for their students and makes it very applicable. We also like to try and follow up and make sure that we are coinciding with the lessons that they are giving in their classrooms. And they love that we're able to match that up and be outside and do hands-on activities with their students. If you're a teacher and you'd like to book a field trip here at Old Santee Canal Park, um, feel free to give us a call at 843-899-5200 and ask to speak with an educator. We'd love to answer all your questions about what kind of programs we offer, as well as get you on the calendar, get you set up. We'd like to follow up, confirm your trip, we'll send you an invoice. We make the process very, very easy so that we can get you and your students out here and enjoying the park.
Not only are, are we the site of the first canal ever built in America, but the, we're also the site of the building of the Little David, which is the first semi-submersible to attack an enemy ship. We also have a large interpretive center. Um, inside we have several different exhibits, especially on our canal that was built here. We also have a reptile exhibit upstairs for lots of people to check out. It's also where we have our classrooms, where we hold our school programs. We also have a gift shop for all families to visit. Another beautiful landmark that we have here at the park is the Stony Landing House. It was built in 1843 by John Dawson, who was a merchant in Charleston. The Stony Landing House sits up on a high limestone bluff and overlooks the Cooper River, and it's really just a beautiful sight to see on our property. The Berkeley Museum is another uh, building that we have here at the park, and it houses all the history of Berkeley County from uh, starting with the Native Americans up to present day. People love to rent out our different facilities for family reunions, birthdays, weddings. We have two large picnic shelters to choose from. Weddings also like to choose the Stony Laning House, as well as using the Interpretive Center for their rentals. We offer a wide range of events, um, family friendly, lots of different things throughout the year so people can come out and enjoy. Uh, we had a large festival for the Eclipse. We do an oyster roast festival every year. We also do a tinsel trot to kick off the holiday season. We also have the holiday lights driving tour. Just lots of awesome family activities to get people out to the park. What I love about Old Santee Canal Park is the total wonderful blend of history and nature. Uh, there's so much history here. It was the site of the first Summit Canal in America. And then we have this 200 acre beautiful park and this wonderful swamp here. It's wonderful to watch the seasons change. Uh, there's something different in bloom all the time. There's different wildlife to be found. It's just that beautiful blend and being out in the fresh air and in nature all the time. The park is open seven days a week, uh, nine to five. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the social media sites, as well as our website, oldcntcanalpark.org.